welcome to uh, Brandon's Hatchway. I am very attractive, and with me, as always, is the uh, tinfoil covered Lada to my gold Lamborghini, Malcolm Agus. Ooh, I'm a lot of that, that, <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, I couldn't think oh, of that. I'm wounded. I'm to... wounded. Oh, oh. I could have said Toyota Trail. Call the ambulance. Oh. <laughs> but not for me. <laughs> I'm skewered. It's deep in my bones. <laughs> Perhaps it would be assuaged if you took part in one of these delightful Mickey and Scotch ales. <laughs> I mean, that would help. That would help. Just about anything would help. I can't. I can't feel worse than being called a tinfoil lot. <laughs> I, I, you know me. Just whatever comes into my brain. <laughs> We're here at Brand's house for the second round of the 3D Speed Winter 2021 series. Um, this is gonna be fun. Um, we're doing this after the race, obviously, because I'm racing in the race. Um, and I know what happens. <laughs> but we're going to have fun with that. Currently up front, it's Andrew Burke, Dave Nelson, the silver car. And that is not the track, William Murrow. That is, that is not where you're going. Um, I don't know how to break it to you. But he's in third place, so he knows his way around the track better than I do. Quinn Smith, Paul Riccobeni rounding off your top five at the moment. Seth Cheney coming to the line. Dick Cheney? Seth Cheney is known as Chain Wax on the uh, Discord server. That is a Key and Peel sketch. Zach Martin entering his final lap there. He's in 17th place at the moment. Dave Nelson up in second place, man. That's a, that's a silver driver in second place now. He could be. I got news for you, Dave. You're not going to be silver long at this rate because he's had some really good Sunday performances as well. Uh, as Sunday, this, Sunday, Sunday. So we're just waiting for everyone to finish up their final laps. You see the P's appearing beside people's names. They are done. They are in the pits. They cannot improve their time. Well, they can. They try hard. They cannot. <laughs> Which is particularly disappointing for one Josh McLaughlin, who's down in uh, 28th place. At the home of Aston Martin, it's a bit weird that this is a this is of course a British track, and almost all the British cars are actually not very good here. Um, as Zach Martin hits the wall, and uh, I'm afraid that will end his day. 17th on the grid at the moment, though that's not too bad. It's mid pack. David Brock in the Bentley, one of the Lambos in behind him there. A yeah, little little held up there. But uh, we head on to the race. We have our grid. And, uh, well, we are ready to kick it off and ready to have some fun here, Byron. Because it's raining! <laughs> I like it. Lambo's in the rain. Somebody make that into a hip hop song. Maybe get Post Malone on that. It's a very wet track here for the race. A lot of these drivers do not have a lot of rain experience. And this, uh, this could be fun. I am given to understand that black cars look better in the shade. I don't know about that, to be honest. But what about the boys in the bright white sports car? Oh, I mean, that looks better in the sun. No, no question. So it is going to be Burke, Nelson, Murrah, Smith, Rick Benny, Johnston, Wentworth, Turcott, Yimbo, and Javi P. Javier Perez Torres, your top ten. Javi P. Just looking down the grid here to see if there's anyone kind of out of position. Um, I feel like Guillermo Martinez and Simeon Deku down in 14th and 19th, respectively. Feels a little low for them. Could see them come through the field. Usually a little bit better uh, of drivers than that. And you can hear the helicopter going off in the background there as uh, we wait for everybody to make their final adjustments for the wet weather. I do enjoy the helicopter. Mm -hmm. Hello, is it me you're coptering for? Mm -hmm. I'm all fresh and shaven. I feel, feel, feel like a new man. Myself as well. I, uh, and, ble it... and bleeding slightly, though. I <laughs> top of that, but, you know, it is... Well, I mean, that's what you get for going crazy. Yeah, well, that's... 
That's what I get for nicking my scalp a little bit towards the back there. 20 seconds. All right, everybody should be joining the grid now, and we will be ready to kick off here very shortly. It'll be a Ferrari and an Aston seconds. Martin leading away from the front. Row two is the front engine domination of Mercedes and Lexus, and then it is Audi and Mercedes further back. Number of other cars here, just the one Porsche down in eighth place. Couple of Bentleys in the field. Couple Lambos. I don't think we have any Hondas. Pretty sure we're, like, without any Hondas or Nissans here. And, uh, unfortunately, there was a reset of the, of the session there. And, uh, hopefully Martin remembers to press, uh, drive here for the, uh... For the, uh... <laughs> for the, uh, spectator. Otherwise, we're gonna get this annoying, uh, overlay for the entirety of, uh, of the race. And that's not great. It's less than ideal. I mean, it could be kind of hilarious. It's but, not even the first time that's happened. But I, I screwed up the uh, the pit window in yesterday's race at Bathurst, so I, 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 I can't insult any of my fellow admins here. That, that's that's the big that's the big uh, cell phone for the week, I think. Tremendous. Just like the time I left the cursor in the middle of the screen. I mean, it's whatever. Professional service. That's what you get when you come here. <laughs> Nothing but the highest. Finest quality from Byron. Only the finest of, exported Scotch Ales. Got a bunch of Formula One quizzes that I might do on uh, for a YouTube video uh, sitting on my screen right now. So that, that'll be that'll be fun. What's that? Um, Why you should always put, pick the uh, Gulf Oil livery no matter what <laughs> car you're driving? No, it's just like skill trivia. Name name the race winner, name the champion, sort of thing. Podiums. Oh, that would be uh, Ultimate Warrior. Mm -hmm. The Ultimate Warrior is indeed uh, very, very fun. <clears throat> or Los Guerrero Ultimo, if you will. Ah, uh, Los Guerrero's part of the kind of a renaissance of tag team action right there with uh, the team of Chris Benoit and Kurt Angle and Edge and his various partners. Oh, we lost somebody. We lost Gulf Oil. Oh, as I say, there's... Oh, Gulf Oil back. Maybe there was another restart? Oh, boy. We are, we are really, uh, I apologize for this, everybody. We are really ruining our flow right now, but, uh. I apologize to oh, absolutely get, he, nobody. He remembered to press drive. We are good. We are good. <laughs> it's just going to be an hour of that waiting. Uh, no, it is. No, it will not be. This is the last waiting phase. <laughs> no, I want a whole hour of just reset on the waiting phase. Mm. That would be a lot of, that'd be a lot of resetting. That's that, that's fucked up. So while we have a moment here, I do want to talk about the the problems of ACC and wet weather. So you can see there at the top right-hand corner of the screen, the temperature area there, 23C and then 23C track. That's not something that would be happening in real life because if, if it had been raining this much to get Brands Hatch this wet, the track would actually be colder than 23C. Like it would be colder than air temperature. And uh, that's kind of it's not a problem here because 23C is not too bad. But sometimes you'll get like this, this like, you know, rain will start coming down. It'll be like, oh, I got some big rain. Track is all flooded and it's 35 fucking degrees. My wet weather tires are not constructed for this. <laughs> and they're literally just screaming the whole race uh, that it will not happen here. But it is. Um, it might happen here. I mean, if an ACC dev watches this video, uh, you guys you guys had a whole team that developed a water drainage system for Kyle Almy and no co no concept of thermodynamics. I mean, there's just a weird amount of... It's, it's weird the things in this game that got a lot of attention and the things that did not get nearly the same level of attention. That's all I'm saying. So we got a 33 car field here. Johnny Major has retreated to the pit lane, so he didn't hit drive when he was supposed to. We wait the green flag, and we are off on the rolling start here, which will take us through... <sighs> I want to say this is Sheen Curve. Could be Michael mistaken. Sheen? No, this is uh, Jim Clark Curve. Okay. We're, for, we're further down the track. Okay. 
It all has kind of a nice sheen to it. Well, it's a bit, it's a bit weird. Like, we did the Laguna Seca race last time we did commentary, and it was, like, way back at the corkscrew where it started. This one's, like, just the last turn corner. It's, it's a bit weird. Things are getting a little bunched up there. It looks like uh, Jeff Wentworth and Chris Johnston getting a little too close together. Or probably that's Darren Turcott and Chris Johnston. Green light. Go, go, and we are off. Johnston got a horrible launch there, and here we go. In the background, we got contact. One of the Lamborghinis into the wall. Did not catch who that was. It was one of the Cyberline cars, but there are three of those. I do not know which that one particular one was. Tony Yimbo, who qualified in the top 10, is at the side of the gravel, and it looks like his race may be done. Um, background, Tony's game crashed. <laughs> That's why he's out. He sent a big apology. He sent a big apology message on Discord if he fucked up anybody. He actually didn't. He avoided everybody despite having no control of the car. Oh, uh. As uh, one of the Mercedes is there going around the uh, incorrect way. Trevor Chaney in 25th place. Or, well, this is changing. I see Mike Magus. I see one of the Ferraris rejoining. I see one of the VIP Ferraris rejoining. So contact in the Grand Mill Bend. And uh, welcome to the wet, everybody. See, what actually happened is uh, Tony sprung from the ultimate uh, simulator package, so when he went into the gravel, it actually shot gravel at him, and uh, then he died. I mean, the gravel would be more shot behind you into people behind you, who then died. <laughs> That'd be pretty neat. So, like, you know, maybe your cat takes one of the freaking forehead or something. I don't know. Wow. Hey, you're the one who brought up death. <laughs> Possibly. Well, God! One of the Aston Martins moving very slowly there in front of Trevor Chaney. That is, I don't know who that is. It's not Jake Northrup, because that's not his car. As, uh, oh, one of the Audis at the side of the road there. I think that's Cole McRae. As they navigate Sterling's. People are off the track all over the place. Everyone trying to find the right tire temp, the right pressures, the ability to compete around here. Uh, still actually do not know who that really slow Aston Martin Martin was, but there's another one going very slowly. And Trevor Chaney all of a sudden is in 17th place. Back to the front of the pack, it is Dominic Turcotte, Paul Riccobeni, scrap it over fifth. Trying to put the leadership on the chain max. Hmm. No, that's Seth Chaney. Trevor's not, not chain max. All lies. We have the Chaney brothers team. Chaining Tatum. Uh, that would be a... That really should have been their thing. They should have gone with cha Chaining Tatum Racing. There we go. Mike Jeffries on the tail of uh, Jake Northrup looking to get past the uh, Mercedes there. Uh, the aforementioned Trevor Chaney directly behind them in the... A uh, lot of black and gold cars in our field here. We've got a couple of Mercedes, a couple of Lambos with that color. And Mike Jeffries does indeed go into 14th place. Chaney is going to go through as well as Northrup struggling with the grip levels. The Barack and Jello. He's actually going to lose a spot there to Antonio Garda as well. There is your boy, by the way, the very attractive Rick Martell in the Aston Martin director behind Cha -cha. He's in 18th place. Jeff Wentworth towards the front of the field, trying to get past Paul Riccobeni, who has lost fifth place to Turcot. Oh, God, a piece of something bouncing up there. I don't know what that was. More like Jeff Tollyworth. Indeed. I haven't seen his buddy Jake Keckley this season, though. That's disappointing. Keckley's a good driver. Not that Jeff isn't. Jeff's a very good driver. Took a podium at Laguna Seca, third in the championship right now. He is a title contender. So top ten is Burke, Murra, Johnston. Oh, somebody's dropping. Dave Nelson is off the track somewhere and dropping. So it is Burke, Murrah, Nelson, Rick Benny in fifth place, Wentworth, Quinn Smith, Zach Martin, Mika Watt, and it looks like Dave Nelson has regained the track back in 10th place. Riding on the rear wing of Jake Northrup, who's got, oh, somebody off the track there. Maybe, uh, could have been Trevor Chaney. Trevor Chaney is my guess. Or Chaney. I'm not sure which it is. The Chain. You North think they listen to The Chain by Fleetwood Mac whenever they're racing on loop? Could be. Northrup's got his teammate Javier Perez Torres running with him. Javi's not had a great race. He started the top 10, is back in 15th at the moment. One of the Aston Martins recovered from off, and Javier is wandering across the grass. It's yeah. not where you want to be, Javi. 
seeing a lot of Aston Martins off. The, uh, it looks like the Front Range United crew, which is the Garage 59 Aston Martins. Another one of them off. God damn it. Rick Martell also flying off in the background. It's almost as if the track is slightly moist today. Indeed. People are definitely battling with that. Perhaps they should invest in Pirelli tires as sponsored on this track. Oh, they prop they actually are running Pirelli tires. That's that's that's. The or perhaps for luck, they should have a bunch of elves because they actually, put the word I elf mean, everywhere. I mean, historically speaking, actually, the tires to have in the wet are Bridgestones. Meat. Have, you think uh, Firestones because they'd melt all the water? Well, Bridgestone, Firestone, same company. <laughs> all the stones are gonna be hot and they're gonna be rock like. William Murrah up in t second place there. He missed the opening round of the season, so good to have him back in the Mad Panda motorsport car. Elf, 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 I should rather elf, like that livery. It's pretty, it's, it's kind of neat. Yeah, it's not too bad. Javi Perez Torres with Larry Foster on his tail, and ahead of them it is Trevor Cheney. This is a battle for 15th place. These guys have all been off the track and are still in decent spots. That, that tells you, that tells you the type of race that we're having just quite frankly. <laughs> Javier Perez Torres coming down to, I think this is called Hawthorne. And then next is Westfield. I uh, I know that it's Hawthorne, Westfield, and Sheen, but I don't remember just so the order the terms are. Actually, if Byron would like to throw some, some, some lovely uh, filler up, I'm going to pull up a track map. Wow, is that all I am to you? I'm just stuffing, audio stuffing. Not even turkey stuffing. What a horrible, horrible fate. Uh, I do kind of like that panda livery. At least they gave it a little attitude with the actually angry panda on it. Not like, oh, it's black and it's white because we're dumb and we don't know what we're doing and we have no flair for the dramatic, but it actually does have a, an angry panda on the butt. It does, it does. That's what I said. It's a very nicely done one. That is, yeah. uh, as he has lost second place, though, to Chris Johnston, who is... Uh, seemingly one of the few guys dealing with the weight rating very, very well. He's up from sixth on the grid to second in the race. Actually, I, I shouldn't say that. Andrew Burke is like five seconds ahead of everybody. He is doing great. <laughs> something, something, ass ton, Martins. Michael Magus off the track there, letting some traffic through on the blue flag. He had a terrible first lap and is uh, just racing for the fun of it at this point. Okay, so the order is indeed Hawthorne, Westfield, and Sheen. I was right. There we go. Michael Sheen? Um, I don't know what Sheen Corner is named after, to be honest. Charlie Sheen. Definitely not Charlie Sheen. Emilio Sheen Stavis. <laughs> what do you know what Charlie Sheen's actual birth name is? Uh I used it. Carlos something? Isn't Carlos it? Estevez. There you go. I mean, the last name I thought you'd get, man, would be given that Emilio's well, I just figured it was one of those weird kind of, he is a sheen, but not a, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Dave Nelson getting <laughs> past Mika what there for ninth place. So Dave is coming back through the field. He's got McLaughlin. You know, Josh McLaughlin's had a really good run. He's up to 11th place. We talked about him being disappointing in qualifying, but uh, the, the wet weather has brought the, uh, the Kiwi to the front. Jeff Wentworth is now suddenly in second place. I don't know what happened there. Did I completely miss something? Because it was Chris yes. Johnston and William Murrah. Murrah is falling way back. And it is now Wentworth up in a second. Third for Johnston. Then it's Smith, Rick Benny, Martin, and then Murrah. With Darren, with, uh, not, not Darren Turcott, Dominic Turcott. One is a, one, one is, one is a hockey player. One is a race car driver. <laughs> Dominic, Dominic Turcotte. Trousseau. Dominic Turcotte up in, uh, in, uh, eighth place. Then Dave Nelson, Mika Wett. Turcell would be hell of a name, actually, for a race car driver. Toyota Trousseau? Trevor Cheney in the pit lane. Rejoining in 30th place. Mike Jeffries getting around... I think that's lap traffic. Him and his teammate, Johnny Major. Oh, no, that's Rick Martell they're getting around. Okay. So Rick Martell dropping a pair of spots there to the VIP out uh, for Arts.
coming up to the blue flagged car of Michael Magus in the WRT Audi. Whoa, Johnny! Big power slide. The traction is in short supply around Brands Hatch today, that is for sure. How come nothing's ever in tall supply? Sometimes it is. Johnny Major finds his way around Magus, as does probably Rick Martell, I'd imagine. Yeah, there we go. Behind them is Wayne Hutchison in the uh, Cyberline Lamborghini. He might have been one of the ones in the wall early in the race. I don't know. I suspect it might have been Simeon Naku, though, who is back in 28th place. And Magus hits the pit lane. Right in the mouth. I mean, that's the only way to hit the pit lane. Hit it right in the mouth or right in the anus. Right from behind. You gotta hit it from behind. Right in the donkey punch zone. Wow. I actually was watching most comedic MMA knockouts earlier. Someone put together a video of, like, regional knockouts they'd seen. Nothing from uh, the UFC or anything. And someone actually did literally just basically knock someone out with a donkey punch. It was pretty freaking hilarious. Don't turn your head. So Johnny Major. Oh, back to the bad panda Mercedes. That is William Burrow with Dominic Turcott, championship leader, on his tail. Turcott is the only Porsche in the field today, um, which in my opinion is a good thing. ESR tends to go heavy on the Porsches, and it uh, it hasn't really gone well historically. <laughs> um, so having a driver who definitely can deliver in the Porsche in the Porsche is a good idea. That is David Brock in the Bentley up ahead of them. I think it's got to be actually the only other the only other Bentley was uh, Tony Yimbo. Who is out of the race? Flash of the headlights there from William Murrow. I feel like that was a little un undeserved, that flash of the headlights. Brock got out of the way, I thought, uh, in that case, uh, quite well. Jake Northrup up into 13th place. He's on the tail of McLaughlin, who looks very slow right now. And in behind them is the V12 Aston Martin of Justin Swan. Easy to tell them apart by the rear headlights. There's some changes in the front, and also the noise the two cars make is much different. Because the V12 is, um, I mean, don't let your don't let your girlfriend near it unless you want to have a child because it's impregnating levels of sound. Wow, wow, wow. Javier Perez Torres on the tail of Justin Swan as well. So this is a battle between the Get uh, the Get Speed Performance crew with Northrup and Perez Torres and the ESR Academy crew with Justin Swan and Joshua Walker. Back to the front, we have Andrew Burke, whose lead is disappearing. It's down to 1.3 seconds, but back to Jeff Wentworth. Here's Antonio Garda running in 11th place with the front range Aston Martin crew. Two big Aston Martin teams here today. The ESR Academy in the gray cars and the white and blue of the Front Range United uh, racing team, um, as well as the Team Oman colors of uh, Privateer Rick Martell. Rick being all antisocial and not joining teams these days. Well, what a uh, standoff here, son of a gun. It's almost as if he's too pretty to be on a team. Too pretty to be on a team. I mean, I mean, can't blame him. Break the team, wouldn't it? Correct. He'd just become too photogenic. Justin Swan in a Mercedes uh, sandwich here. I mean, I feel like I want that the other way around, don't you? Like, uh, I mean, you want like English bread with a with a with some German meat in the middle, not 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 the other way around. Yeah, it's probably accurate. We got like a weird Kaiser roll with uh, with like a like a really un underwhelming fish in the middle. is running in 13th place in that V12, which is not terribly strong around here because it's massively powerful engine, the V12, uh, not necessarily being put to good use in a tight, twisty circuit like Brands Hatch, and particularly not in a wet weather one, so he's having a fantastic drive. But he's got to focus both ahead of him and behind him because Javi Perez Torres is coming, and they're going to be side by side heading towards Paddock Hill Bend. 
turn one of this lap. And I think Justin has just sacrificed that 13th spot. So Perez is through. And the Get Speed boys are running 12th, 13th, and 3rd. They're having a very good day. Might I say that that sounds just incredible. Mm. Paul Rick Benny dropping through the field. He's lost a spot to Zach Martin and to Dominic Turcott. Turcott's also gotten past William Murrah, so he's having a little bit of a charge. Mika Wood has retaken ninth place from Dave Nelson. I'd also like to give a shout out to a guy who's not been on the ESR grid for a little bit while. If you cast your eyes down to 23rd place, Benjamin Atamian has returned. Good to have him back. Very nice. Welcome back. Give all of the attention to Antimian. <laughs> Paul Rick and Benny in the pit lane. It looks like maybe the WRT boy is done. Antonio Garda is suddenly into eight into ninth place, having overtaken Mika. What? I'm not sure what happened there. Mika must have had an off. Uh, looking back there, there is David Brock. Uh, he is letting some people through. Uh, not sure where Brock is running, but it is towards the back of the pack. Turn of the pack. Indeed. So Antonio Garda suddenly in the top 10 there for the front range crew. Uh, we've seen so many Aston Martins off the track. It's, uh, it's kind of amazing the two of them are actually in the top 10 right now. Three of them actually because Zach Martin's up in fifth place. If anyone's on the move right now, doesn't really look like it. Richard Higgs losing a spot to Johnny Major and the other VIP Ferrari of Mike Jeffries coming through as well. Ferrari on Lambeau Violence, the horse beating up on the bull. There is David Rock running in 25th place, the uh, bronze number plate for the Bentley driver. Simeon Niku coming up behind him. That is for position. Niku's had a rough day. And uh, it looks like Brock may have just gotten out of his way, which I'm a little mixed on because he was technically racing him for position. But at the same time, I, I don't think anyone who's been watching these races particularly sees David Brock and Simeon Niku as um, viable rivals in any real sense. Wow. One of the Aston Martins off there, and it's Antonio Garda. And he's losing spots to what? Get speed cars are through as well. Justin Swan. V12 trying to beat up on the V8 Vantage. And Justin Swan getting a little angry with some flash in the headlights there. Maybe a little bit displeased with the defensive uh, driving of Antonio Garda. Somebody else off the track there. I believe that is Dixon Hurst in the Audi. Not a good day for Audi. Speaking of Audi, there's Mike Magus getting out of the way of a whole host of battle there at the edge of the top 10. And we look back at Dave Nelson, who overtakes somebody under yellow flags. One of the Cheneys, I do believe. Mika Watt leading Jake Northrup and teammate Javi Perez Torres to get speed cars trying to come forward. And in behind them, it is Garda and Justin Swan. I hear that Javi P is such a good teammate that people uh, are clamoring all over themselves to be on his team. Oh, absolutely. There was a whole war for Javi P's services between the Get Speed Mercedes crew and the WRT Audi crew. And he uh, chose the Mercedes crew, and I. I am not bitter about that at all. It sounds like you were over it immediately. So, you know, it was, uh, quickly got over it, quickly. He abandoned the championship winning team of Rick and Benny, Magus, and uh, Perez Torres when we moved from Lexus to Audi. <laughs> Maybe they uh, promised him a lifetime supply of Rothmans. Oh. You know, that, that, that's not bad, actually. 
Mika Watt getting out a little bent out of shape there as they're coming up to one of the Cheneys through Druids. And he really needs to be thinking about getting out of the way here fairly shortly. That's a little bit... I don't know. It's a little inconsiderate from the blue flag traffic there. When you have a train of cars coming up behind you, you just got to... There's a certain point where you just got to get off the line and kind of let them all through. And he is doing that now, so he has gotten that that message. Um, didn't hurt me, what actually. What's managed to get a little bit of a gap back to the Mercedes. So doing a good job there. Andrew Burke still leads, but it's only by six tenths over Chris Johnston, who's gotten second place off of Jeff Wentworth. So we got a good three-way scrap going for the lead right now. Zach Martin is up into fourth place. Had a Dominic Turcott, William Burra, Dave Nelson, and then this band, Mika Watt. Northrop, Javi Perez Torres rounding off the top ten. The silver podium right now is Martin, Nelson, and Northrop. And the AM leader is in 15th place. That is Seth Cheney. Seth Cheney having a very good run right now. The Cheney brothers seemingly have picked up a lot of speed this season. And it's good to see. Although Trevor Cheney down in 25th place, uh, not really holding up to that. <laughs> Perhaps the uh, Chains of Brotherhood are uh, substandard. Perhaps. Uh, we have Benjamin Atamian under pressure from Larry Foster there. And we ride on board with the Porsche of Dominic Turka. Is there is there any doubt that you're inside a Porsche when you can literally see the word Porsche right across the... Uh, the uh, driver console. <laughs> so I would really laugh if somebody made a spelling mistake and uh, it said porch. I'll be down for that. Richard Higgs in 16th place. Catching up to Seth Cheney, who we mentioned before. And he's got Josh McLaughlin behind him. McLaughlin's been falling back, so I feel like Higgs is looking, go looking forward more than behind. Oh, boy! As I say this, he goes off at Graham Hill Bend. And that's going to let McLaughlin through before Higgs can rejoin in a safe manner. Into the pits goes Antonio Garda. So maybe problems for the front range crew. There is the battle for the lead. The Ferrari of Andrew Burke leading the Mercedes duo of Chris Johnson and Jeff Wentworth. These are not teammates. This is the Get Speed Mercedes of Johnston and the OTL Mercedes of Jeff Wentworth. Does OTL stand for over the line? Um, maybe. You'd have to ask Jeff and Jake. Actually, I legitimately don't know. <laughs> this time you're over the line! You're over the line, Yamashi! <laughs> By the way, Mario Yamasaki returning to MMA uh, referee. You, you can have fun with that one. And I will. They're coming up to one of the front range uh, Aston Martins there. There are four of them, so forgive me if I am unsure which one that is. Uh, based on location, I suspect it's Larry Foster, but I could be mistaken. Trevor Chaney driving with the open bonnet. Some significant damage showing on the... Uh, Cheney brother Mercedes, Jake Northrup has lost a spot to Justin Swan and teammate Javier Perez Torres so maybe a mistake by Northrup and he's dropped out of the top 10 as a result up ahead is Swan trying to get past the Lamborghini so that must be a blue flag scenario Wayne Hutchison now on the tail of teammate Richard Higgs How do I reach these keys? <laughs> I've been asking myself that for a long time because they refuse to switch Steam accounts when they race. It is really annoying. <laughs> Not gonna lie. It's always great when you look at a result pack and you're like, all right, time to do some number crunching, Higgs. Oh, fuck. Which Higgs is it? <laughs> Both of them. I feel like I should just, yeah, I feel like I should just merge them into one person for our purposes, frankly. Dominic Turcotte. I think it's just Mad Higgs with a voice changer. Could be. Could be. 
Dave Nelson making his way past the lapped car of David Brock. What is it with Dave and finding every other Dave in the game, basically? He's, he's been battling in the academy with David Jones and David James. And there was another Dave, I think, that I can't remember now. <laughs> but so many Daves, so many Daves. So many days, so little time. Not really sure why we picked up Nelson here. He's just moving through some blue flag traffic. Like he's like he's five seconds up on Javi Perez Torres and about 21 seconds down on William Murrow. Like he's really got no offense, Dave, but you're not doing anything right now. I'm not really sure why you're wow. getting camera time. He's doing his best, sir. Oh no, he's having a fantastic he's in seventh place, sir. I I am not casting any remote dispersions on his abilities. He is doing phenomenal. That is not the problem. It's just he's at, he's at a section of the track that there's just there's not much happening right here. <laughs> One of the front range just cars rejoining probably excellence. probably Antonio Garda rejoining the track. Like there's a good little battle going on between Javi Perez Torres and Mika what right behind him. I would kind of prefer to see that. Or the battle for the lead here between Andrew Burke, Chris Johnston, and uh, Jeff Hartford. Wentworth is having a transformative season with Mercedes Evo, I must say. He's, uh, you know, podium at Laguna Seca, looking like a podium here again. He's been fantastic. One of the Lambos is sideways at the entrance of the pits there. It's been a surprising season. There's some guys... I mean, there's been some of the old guard there. Andrew Burke is certainly was quick last season. Dom Turcotte, who won in Laguna Seca, is obviously a, a quality driver. Proven commodity. Um, but we're seeing some new faces get forward, like a Jeff Wentworth, like a Zach Martin, who's in fifth place, uh, like a Dave Nelson, who is becoming an incredible force within the uh, grid. It's, uh, it's great to see. Yellow flag out for... Oh, that's one of the front range Astons off the track. William Murrah running in fifth place, apparently. Shown in sixth on there, so somebody's dropped. Looks like it might have been Zach Martin, who was that front range Aston Martin off the track. Simeon Naku, 21st place, looking to hunt down Benjamin Antimian. Benjamin the Anteater Antimian. That's a solid nickname. The Giant Anteater. There you go. Even better. The Behemoth Anteater? There you go. That does not exist. They have pituitary problems. You know, we don't talk about that. How is, how is there not been a behemoth silver at this point? There's like several giant silvers. Like, how is there not been a behemoth or a leviathan? Is there? I only know about the one giant silver. Well, there's giant silver, the freak show fighter, and then there's Antonio Bigfoot Silva, also sometimes called giant silver. Oh, so well, that's cheating. It's a, it's a, you know, I'm, I'm just saying a little, a little more diversity in the MMA world with nicknames, please. There, there are get, get a th get a thesaurus. <laughs> Jihuge Mick Silva. Go find yourself a thesaurus for assassin, for the love of God. <laughs> so many. Pitbull, pick so, another breed. So many. So very many. <laughs> when you literally can't have a fight card without someone with the nickname Assassin, it's a problem. <laughs> Not saying you all got to change, because some are really, really fitting. But, uh, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, points for creativity, guys. We re we, rem yeah. we remember the nick the nicknames that actually stand out. Axe yeah, Murder, like Crocom. Pitbull and other Pitbull and <laughs> the assassinating Pitbull. Well, the problem with the Pitbull nickname is, honestly, it's like, okay, Pitbull's Andre Arlovsky or it's the Pitbull Brothers. Like, there's, there's, no, there's not room for another one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, okay, so here's the discussion. Um... 
are the Brazilians the least creative people when it comes to A, real names, and B, uh, nicknames? I, I feel like the problem with Brazilian nicknames is they often get translated quite poorly. <laughs> because, I mean, some of the Brazilian nicknames are freaking great. Like, Masarandube, that's amazing. Awesome. Napau. Yeah, but then you've got Patricio and Patrici Freire, both nicknamed Pitbull. Yeah, well, they're brothers. And then you got Rogerio and Rodrigo Nogueira. Yeah, Minotaro and Minotaro. Come on, son. At least do something like the Hua brothers did with the with the ninja and the uh, Shogun. Yeah. As uh, Josh McLaughlin gets a little out of control there, and a lap is reclaimed by Trevor Cheney. As we should get back onto some racing topics and less about or terrible, terrible nicknames. Javi Perez Torres up in eighth place. He's looking to catch up to Dave Nelson, about four and a half seconds back in right now. He is gapping the Audi and Mika what? Zach Martin still running despite that off. And uh, yeah, a little under two seconds back of William Murray right now. Mike Jeffries in 13. How is Johnny Major up in 10th and Jeffries is in 13th? Those two have been side by side almost all race. And now suddenly Major has forged ahead. I'm going to go with uh, moisture intervention. Probably, although Major started in the pit lanes. I mean, fantastic run from him to up to 10th place. Seth Cheney falling down a lap to the leaders. Uh, looks like we lost Jeff Whitworth from the group. He is still is shown in third, but he is 14 seconds behind, so definitely probably had a... Uh, an incident at some point off camera that we did not catch. Shout out to Steph Cheney. He's had he's having a very good race. I mean, the pace probably isn't really there. I mean, he's down a lap, but to be 14th place, top place bronze driver at the moment, um, this is a this is a very very solid performance, and I want to, I I would like everyone to appreciate that. A little bit of a dry line is forming on the circuit, I can see, um, in certain corners, which is a bit weird because it is still definitely raining. But, uh, I would also like to send a shout out to notable disabled driver, Def Gordon. I like Jeff Gordon. He's handsome. Go Bobby Hill. <laughs> I mean, made, Jeff Gordon's a fine-looking man. Made, made Hank Hill and, and uh, D Dale Gribble very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I've got so much King of the Hill stuff. I was. I've been using. Um, been using the uh, the uh, the the. I heard what you did to Chain Wasanasan. Unforgivable. Then I heard what you did to your father. Very funny. I am conflicted. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, former boss, always, he found out I could do a Hank Hill impression. Never. Uh, it was very few days that I'd go into work where he didn't actually try and get me to do it. It got actually kind of annoying. It's good to know. I don't think I've ever heard your Hank Hill impression. God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Well, see, I have the advantage, though, because I was a big Beavis and Butthead fan when I was a kid. So, gotcha. you know, Hank Hill's in both shows. Yeah. yeah Although, but, yeah. No, so I was able to try and perfect uh, Mr. I think it was in on Beavis and Butthead. It was Anderson. Mr. Anderson, something like I that. I don't think it was Anderson. It was a very generic name, though. I do. I do recall this. Anyway, it was a very primitive, very <laughs> old man, Hank Hill. So then when he stopped doing all the trembly voice stuff, it was actually really easy to just... God damn it, Bobby. I do actually really enjoy the fact that Hank Hill has, like... Oh, or King of the Hill has a lot more, like, actually really surprising guest stars than, say, The Simpsons does. Because you got Brad Pitt, you got Matthew McConaughey. Um, you know, various cameos, of course, such as Willie Nelson. McConaughey... My name is Red Fippaday Ox. <laughs> Justin Swan on the tail of Mike Jeffries' battle for 12th place, although Jeffries has just gotten past him, so 
I do feel like Swan is going backwards at this point as opposed to forwards. Five and a half seconds to go. He's got Seth Cheney behind him. Um, I think he's probably okay, but I just I just don't know if there's really a forward momentum there as uh, a little bit of lap traffic gets cleared there by Josh McLaughlin, Wayne Hutchison, and I believe that is Matt Howell and Larry Foster. Michael Bagg is having a race to forget again at Brands Hatch. Last season, this was actually where he broke his medals. Um, and it necessitated the great generosity of the ESR community to get him a new pair. How many drinks? I'm trying to figure out how many drinks you just gave people due to the commentary drinking rules. Six. I'll go with it. Jake Northrup in 11th place. Again, kind of a weird pickup here. No offense, Jake, but not a lot going on right now with you. Having a good run, though. Seems like he's been fairly consistent. Managed to stay more or less on the track. Is the lowest ranked of the three get speed uh, Mercedes who are having a great day. Uh, once again, Chris Johnston up in second. Javi Perez Torres in ninth are his teammates. Very strong team. You think that's the key to their success? They're on speed. Oh, probably. I mean, it was the uh, key to the Blitzkrieg success, methamphetamines. So Burke leads by about four tenths of a second over Johnston here with eh, a little under four minutes to go here at Brands Hatch. Jeff Wentworth, Dominic Turcotte, Scott up to fourth place. William Murr is back to fifth. Uh, then it is Zach Martin, Dave Nelson, Nico Watt who has gotten back past Javier Perez Torres and Johnny Major, the most recent addition to the top 10, followed by Jake Northrup, Michael Jeffries, Justin Swan, Seth Cheney, Wayne Hutchison, Josh McLaughlin, Matt Howell, Larry Foster, Richard Higgs, and Benjamin Atomy, and your top 20. We have at least 23 cars running. High, high attrition race, of course. Wet races at Brands Hatch usually are. I think we should uh, really try out the new Typhoon settings next time. Oh, God, no. <laughs> the thunderstorm settings are bad enough. I think I recall if the first time we ever got thunderstorm settings as we ride on board with Chris Johnson, we were at a uh, we were at uh, Spa Francorchamps, which is a track that I think even you actually have a rough idea of what it looks like. Um, and uh, there's of course a turn there called Eau Rouge, and it was it was a river. It was literally just like, <laughs> "Welcome, your car is a boat now." I don't I don't know how to tell you this. <laughs> Such aquaplaning. Ridiculous. I like it. Wonder if the Bentleys did particularly well there. I don't know. Larry Foster getting uh, forcibly blue flagged by uh, Dominic Turcotte there. And a little bit of impatience from William Murrah, who is next on the docket. Yes. Oh no! Foster lost a little bit of control and came back into Murrah's path and gets slammed into the wall. I don't really want to dissuade you of your confidence in me, but I have absolutely no idea what that, uh, uh, the, the, the spare. I feel like if you saw Eau Rouge, you'd know that it was spare. Maybe. I mean, you did do a track mania. Uh, track. Oh, is that the one I did? Yeah, treat yourself! Okay. <laughs> yeah, I still don't know. I don't, it's been a long time since I did that, and I don't remember what it looks like. That's possible. Andrew Burke is have you have you developed any kind of particular love for any of the tracks through these commentaries? I guess that, that would be the interesting Not particularly, no. I honestly I can't tell them apart. It's all what we're seeing now is all I see. I, I have no concept of what they look like on a grand scale. Gotcha. Let alone what either of these specially named corners can possibly be. I don't have a clue. Uh, Brands Hatch does actually, from a bird's eye view, look a little bit like a sperm. I can send you a picture of the That's track. That's pretty cool. 
somebody is feeling extra saucy one day. You can check that out. Oh yeah, it does. Look at Deadpool. That's kind of cool. Andrew Burke under pressure for the lead. Chris Johnson, last lap. Last time through Sheen. Last time for the Sterlings. Can the Ferrari hold off the Mercedes? It's not a question we'd be asking if this would have one race, because right now Ferrari sucks. But here he has a chance through the Jim Clark curve. Chris Johnson goes underneath them, side by side to the start finish line. And Chris Johnson's got it. Yeah, Mercedes yeah, triumphing over Ferrari. Burke comes home in second place after leading so much of this race. Absolute heartbreak for Andrew Burke, who I don't think has taken an ESR win yet. Chris Johnson gets it. Jeff Wentworth, second consecutive podium for him in third place. Uh, looks like Dom Turcotte's going to come home. Oh, William Murrow went for it in fourth place there at the end, but Dom Turcotte's going to get it. And Murrow may have lost some spots. I'm not sure. A couple of cars went through. I'm not sure if they were on the lead lap, though. Murra still comes home in fifth, so it didn't cost him. Further back, Zach Martin will take sixth place. Good run for him. Top Aston Martin honors and a very weird day for Aston Martin. They took their first front row start of the season with Dave Nelson. Saw so many of them off the track, but in the end, they do get a pair in the top ten by the looks of it. Dave Nelson hasn't finished yet. There he is. Dave Nelson in seventh place. So we're waiting on Javier Perez Torres, Mika Watt, and Johnny Major to finalize the top 10. Perez in eighth. Good race from Javi P. Mika Watt comes home in ninth as the top Audi. So Santa Lock beating up on WRT today. Johnny Major, Jake Northrup finishing in 10th and 11th place. Justin Swan in 12th. Then it is Mike Jeffries. Seth Cheney, the top AM car, bronze car. Wayne Hutchison, Josh McLaughlin, Larry Foster, Matt Howell, Richard Higgs, Benjamin Atamian, Simeon Naku, Trevor Cheney, and Michael Magus. I do believe Dave Brock has also finished in 24th place. So your overall podium, Johnston, Burke, and Wentworth. Your silver podium, Martin Nelson and Perez Torres. And your bronze podium, Cheney, Foster, and I did not catch who was in third there of the AM cars, but fortunately for us, I do have the results on race app. Cha -cha -cha. Just let me pull them up here, and Byron can give you his melodious voice. Mm, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Gold Lamborghini 5000. Well, we, we will be doing 5,000 straight weeks of Gold Lamborghini race. No one's allowed to leave the cars. We welded them shut. <laughs> they, they will be able to subsist on only uh, porridge and squirrels they can catch by driving past the forest. <laughs> so the final bronze spot on the uh, on the podium there went to the other Cheney, Trevor Cheney. Uh, so overall championship rundown. Give you a quick run here. Chris Chris Johnson off of second place at Laguna in the win here today. First place overall ahead of Dominic Turcott, Andrew Burke in third, Jeff Wentworth. Zach Martin, Mika Watt, Dave Nelson, Justin Swan, Javier Perez Torres, and Jake Northrup, your top 10. The Silver Cup belongs right now to Zach Martin with Dave Nelson, Javier Perez Torres, Michael Jeffries, and Jake Northrup, your top five. And then the AM side of things, it is Larry Foster leading the way from Trevor Cheney and Seth Cheney, David Brock, and Rick Martell. Team's Championship Get Speed is now almost 100 points up. They're up 91 points over Front Range United. 240 to 149. 143 for the ESR Academy team. 116 for the LT OTL Racing team. Cyberline Racing on 101. WRT Audi at 84. 83 for VIP Autosports. 77 for Santa Lock Racing. Cheney Brothers on 45. And Tango, aka ASP Mercedes, is on 19. No points yet for Team CT, Team Chicken Tenders, by Emil Frey. Oh, I thought they were just a big fan of uh, the, the challenge. They could be. Everybody is a big fan, when it comes down to it, of Mr. CT. You fear Mr. CT. 
because he may smash your skull open and eat it. Correct. Anyways, Byron, you have any th final thoughts here before we depart from Brain's Hatch? Uh, I would like to point out that the uh, gold Lambo is really the only thing you ever need to drive. Maybe. I don't know. And with that, off we go. <laughs>